So, I don't know how to start this. It has been a while since I've been doing these videos. I have been going into a cocoon state, I think. So many things happening all around, all over the world. And it really takes effort to keep it small, to keep it simple, to be relatively aligned with your own daily praxis, with your own daily life, without getting blown away over all the enormously <laughs> grand energetic fields pushing us around. Some of them created by humans, some of them not. If you are listening to this, you know what I'm talking about because it is a channel for energetic movement. I, as so many other, pick up on stuff that can be very difficult to put into words, but I think today I must try. I had this urge to go to pull some cards and it has been a long while since I did it. But today I called in sick at work because I felt sick and it, I have been sleeping a lot. And now I think it's time to let something come through. And what comes through shows here in the cards and I will show them to you. And then I guess I will channel because there's more to it than the cards, I guess. So I took, I pulled two cards from the Magdalene Oracle card. And then I pulled out two from this Work Your Light Oracle cards. But see, from this deck, I had this sense that from the first deck it was the very human eyes. How does my human eyes see things right now? And what do I need to know from my human perspective? And then where is it leading me? What it what is it what is it attached to with the higher realms kind of higher self type of information and when i first draw two from 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 this work your light deck four went out when i shuffle they fly out and i four flew out and i looked at them and i felt it was too much so I put them back again and the next time it was two cards out. But then I looked at the bottom and the two cards that made the four were exactly there in the bottom. So I have pulled them off, pulled them two, so I have four cards there. So let's see from the first Magdalene, it is the card called the Matrix. I have never pulled it before. And then comes intimacy. So these two cards represent what I call the physical, the human perspective. And then comes the higher perspective. Align your life. What is not aligned or needs to change. We are going deep. And then I got this card, yes, just say yes. And the two other cards that was in the bottom of the deck, it's called Unbound. Releasing soul patterns, contracts and past lives. And I have had this several times. And the next one, or the last one, you are already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your truth, truth, your true north. See, I don't want to read everything, but the matrix I want to read because mm, that word, that concept. I need to have some words to it from this book. The, yeah. So it says, trying to figure out why certain things happen is like attempting to piece together a thousand piece jigsaw puzzle. 
while only having a few pieces of the puzzle in your possession. You cannot fully understand the present situation using the logic of your finite mind or your finite mind. Just know that a bigger picture exists, even though it is not possible for you to see it at this time. Trust, for all that is happening is an act of love. Ultimately, you will discover the blessing. Have patience. You will look back on this period of your life and be thankful for all that is occurring now. See, that's another definition of the matrix than many people usually have. Many people get so scared of that concept, the matrix. We are all caught in the matrix. But, well, we are all part of a matrix. And for me and this picture, it lights like the God, the eye of God. This matrix, there is no fear. And then the card elimination. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Intimacy. And to make it short, it says, you have been hurt before, but now love is there for you. So open up and let it be entering your life. Ch trust and share your feelings and experiences openly and honestly. You'll be amazed at what unfolds. The most intimate relationships are usually formed through tears and laughter. So don't be afraid to express your feelings, fears or vulnerabilities. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace the new. And accidentally, the card that I put in to be a bookmarker, it was the lovers. I won't go into that, but just let it sip into your mind. you be you, something will evolve. <clears throat> and it makes per perfect sense to this align your life. Because it makes you wonder right now, what is it going to take for you? What is it going to take for you to be really aligned, not to be cracked up like this, but to let that fall aside, to make room for your own intimacy with yourself, your own recognition of all the feelings that you have inside. Don't get stuck on them, but let them be there and let them live their life through you. Let them show you where your pain is, so that you can choose otherwise. Perhaps you need to do something else than you usually do to transform your pain or your disappointment or your having more emphasis on your mind, on your brain, on your intellect than on your heart. I just recently saw this beautiful <clears throat> sentence, something like, it's, it's not about how much you know, but how deep you can love. And actually that leads back to this, because for me, when I see this card and how I view life with all the experiences that I have had, for me, life is love. It's not me that loves. It's life that loves through me. And sometimes we cannot, often we cannot see that big picture. But stepping into this, being able to be intimate with ourself and our own ability to be expression of love and life, That's kind of a journey because many of us have still 
splinters of the past with us. Things that we have learned that really doesn't make sense if we just were to follow our hearts. Perhaps our mind says otherwise. But hand on your heart, how does it feel for you? Does it make you filled with joy and wonder about what life is? Can you handle that some people want, want to be taken care of or controlled if you don't? Can you do that on your own? Just take your own step out of what before controlled you, whatever that is, if it was some thought patterns that you had yourself that controlled you, or if it was the experience of somebody else outside of you controlling you, perhaps it is one and the same. Perhaps you just need to realize, hand on the heart, what makes me feel joyous about life. How can I be expression of that love, that eye of God, that eternally burning fire of movement, expansion and also disintegration? And when you really go through these stages, that leads you to this very deep felt state of being without personal emotions as such, but a very grand awareness of life. Then there's only one grand yes, because you know what you say yes to, because you know that the feeling of joy is what leads you there. Because that feeling of joy and excitement of life being love through you makes you take steps that you pref before perhaps didn't want to take, was afraid to take. But now you have no choice because you do not want that anymore. You want to be able to be this in human form an integrated soul, body, personal experience of life itself. And yes, call it a matrix, but you define what your matrix is, even though you do not understand everything. You have an inner compass, that true north. You are already doing this. You have inside of you that true north that is only yours to read which direction your life is going is up to you and nobody else and that perhaps can take you through a process of disintegration because you have to shed the skin of the old over and over again until you are in this present moment saying yes to everything because you deep down know that everything comes out of love and you are already doing it Sometimes we need to be reminded because it can be a heavy burden to over and over again find out that the old isn't in service of the new. And sometimes you have to see death in the eye and let the old die behind you. And you can take it physically on, you can see it as a metaphor and know that death is never exact. 
because in this universe nothing disappears. It is just formed into something else. So if it is a death of a thought form, it just transforms into something new. Where there is just one big, great, grand yes. Because it is love. And nothing more. And nothing less. But true north for you. And what your neighbor has as his or her true north, you do not know. So let them be. You just have this experience in your life where you just sit back, relaxed, drop down shoulders because there's no need to have them up. You know your path and you're doing it. Even though it's painful, even though you have to leave something behind, you are doing it. And things will never be the same before because what was was this immense experience of hurt but it is transforming and it takes time sometimes it comes as a snap changed and sometimes it takes time because you want to be part of this journey you have decided before you came. You want to experience it. Life. Doesn't this also look like the egg and the semen? This is the rebirth, perhaps. But before the rebirth, there is the creation of life. And perhaps that is what we are doing now. Creating our own life. In the matrix of love. See, every little step that you take is what matters, nothing else. Everything can be put up on a pedestal, but don't do that. Or everything can be thrown in the basement, but don't do that. Just be in alignment with yourself every little step on the way. See, it doesn't take one grand hero to save the earth. No, it just takes you in your daily life, living your life as that hero that you need to be. You do not need a hero outside of yourself. There are millions and millions of heroes outside of yourself. And you are also one of them. But it doesn't take loud words or great manifestations to be that hero. It takes you on a daily basis, bringing yourself into alignment with yourself so that your actions is a reflection of that love that you are made of doesn't mean that you have to go around and love everybody consciously. You do not need to tell them. You do not need to sacrifice yourself for anybody. And you definitely do not need to polarize into good and bad. Do not, please do not do that. It needs for you to know your own path and every step on the way be silent with it. Your truth is your truth. 
That is enough. You can be open and get information and let everything go through your system without having it attached to you. If anything feels too much like it is clinging on to your system, your energetic system, then just throw it off like the snake throws off the old skin. And again, and over and over again, see yourself standing naked before God in your everyday life. And God, not as something outside of yourself, but God as the experience of love. If it is a physical love, if it is a spiritual love of nature, of humankind, of all that is, your definition is yours. You feel in your heart where your path leads you. And that path, taking every step on the way, is also at the same time a practice of standing still, naked before God. Sounds like a paradox, doesn't it? Taking each step on the way, on your own path, to intimacy with you and at the same time in every morning moment standing still in silence present with God in intimacy with God And if you feel like you do not know where to go and what to do and how to stand still, then sit down, lay down and just wait. Dear human being, you cannot win this through fighting. Because there is no win, there is no war. There is dynamics, yes. There is movement, yes. There is constant alignment because everything is changing, yes. But instead of pointing fingers and getting angry, Just take your own little action every day of what feels right for you. And if others choose otherwise, let them have their choice. Let them be them. Of course, do what feels right in every moment even if it is a small gesture in silence, or even if it is shouting out loud. But always, hand on the heart, is this true for me? Is this true for now? Is this true naked for God? Because that little information you put into the gigantic pool of collective knowledge and wisdom and experience has a ripple effect beyond what you have ever thought. The ripple effect of a scream is sometimes kind of the opposite. Sometimes the ripple effect of silence 
so much grander, so much more beautiful, soothing, and much easier for others to collect upon. Because that information that comes from you, you really want people to hear it, take it in, don't you? And how do you think other people listen the best? When they are pushed, beaten up, yelled at? No. One listens the best. When information is placed before them, they are able to look at it and if you are lucky they will place their hand on their heart and then they will choose the information that fits them on their true north, on their path. And perhaps you will find out that your paths differ and that is fine. And perhaps you will find that your path is a path alongside one another. That is fine as well. Let people leave and you may leave too. And let people find their own to follow. Like you. Calming your nervous system by doing this. That calms the collective nervous system. Dear one, you are your own hero, you know standing naked within God, without judgment of yourself or others, without pride that thinks that you think you are better than other. Without anything, love. May love be your matrix. Love is. And in that room of silence there is immense and infinite life dynamic, always in movement, in silence, in peace and standing still. How is it possible? And yet it is. For whomever needs to hear this, love. You do not have to understand anything. Things will unfold eventually. 
And you are in this for the ride of your lifetime. Enjoy the ride, my dear one. Cry and laugh, just as you need to. But always hand on the heart. Then your actions will be one of love. Blessed be you, all of you, all, all. I am from Denmark, so I apologize the English version. <laughs> but this was what had to come through today. I will go back to rest. And you, blessed be you, and me, and all of us. Perhaps I should say, Happy New Year, Happy New Life.